and I should point out that uh, anything I uh, talk about on the iPhone also applies to the iPad and anything we talk about on Android smartphones also applies to Android tablets. Right, so you've set up your black view and this is how it looks. Um, now I'm going to show you this is a Samsung and this is an iPhone. So we're not just talking about uh, the the black view. Um, although this is what the black view looks like when you you start it up. But everything I'm talking about here really applies to all smartphones. Now the black view comes with two screens, and you can get you can add to it. But if I swipe like that. You see we've gone to a second screen of apps and if I swipe back and that applies to all phones and and uh, like all smartphones you can turn it to landscape mode or portrait mode there are only three buttons well I tell a lie uh, you've got the buttons on the side which is the uh, switch on and off volume up and down if the phone goes to sleep you would tap that button to wake it up again um, but there are three soft buttons on the bottom now there they are on the Samsung and they, they look slightly different on different phones but it's easy to see what they are um, this one here is the back button so if you you're doing something takes you back to where you were before this one here is the home button takes you to the home screen and this one here shows you all the apps that you have open now on the black view you have this thing here which will close them all down on a Samsung it um, you presented with a close all apps box it's, it's all pretty self-explanatory. So we have four apps across the bottom that stay no matter what screen you're in. So they're pinned to the taskbar, so to speak. Now, the ones we've got along the bottom are phone, contacts, text, and web browser. Now, I would quite like to have the camera, and the camera's on screen too. We can move things around. Um, if you tap on one of these, it'll open. So if I tap that, the camera will open. But if I long press, which is to hold your finger for quite a while, then you can move it around the screen. And if I drag it to the left-hand side of the screen, it goes down to the home screen. Yeah? Now, on this particular phone, I can only get four apps on the taskbar so I'm going to take the contacts which I don't think I need to have right there I'm going to put it the contacts drag it out of the taskbar and onto the home screen yeah and a long press on the camera again so I've got it and I move it down to the taskbar and there it is positioned and there's so the camera is readily available to me from an, any screen uh, the, the thing I like about the, the black view is that it comes out of the box with just a few, just the main things you need actually. Um, this Samsung is a different kettle of fish. It comes with loads of Samsung apps and other manufacturers do similar things. Black view is pretty simple. Um, and there's only one black view app on there and I'm not even sure what it does. But there's our calendar, uh, you've got a calculator there, you've got a clock, some handy stuff. And just, just press on them and see what they all do. Now to move an app on the uh, iPhone, you long press again. Now this is uh, a new update, so it's, it's slightly different now. We can delete the app or we can, the thing we want is edit home screen. And that makes, you see all the apps are, are wobbling now. That means that we could we can move any of them about. Or hit the little X and that would delete it. I'm going to move this one onto the other screen. 
There you go. Now, we, unlike the um, an Android phone, you can't just place them anywhere on the screen. They go next in order. And when you're finished moving, you press the button at the bottom and that stops them all wobbling like that. Yeah. Now, the, the slight difference with an iPhone and an Android phone is that if I delete an app from this phone, as I just showed you, it's gone. Whereas you have two motions on an Android, if we delete it, it'll come off the screen, so it's not readily available, but it'll still be on the phone. So you'd have to go further into the settings and delete the app totally if you wanted to um, get rid of an app. And the reason you would get rid of an app is you might use it for a while and decide it's not for you. Because you certainly don't want to have too many on your phone. It might slow it down, uh, use up too much memory. So just the ones you want. And, and if you're going to try something out, try something out just one at a time. Don't down. You know, there's loads of free ones and you might want to fill your boots and put loads on. But be careful. Uh, next video, I'll show you how to uh, download a new app from the Play Store. And how to do that on the iPhone as well. <laughs>